Hello. I thought I would do a review on the latest gun that I've purchased. This is the uh, Smith and Wesson M&P M2.0 9mm. Uh, man, it's a great gun. I love the the textured grip that they've uh, come out with for this gun. It comes with a ton of uh, options. You know, ambidextrous safety. Um, comes standard with two. Uh, magazines they are 17 round magazines I checked the price on uh, 44mag.com for extra magazines and they run about $35 each so about average with all your other guns I went to the range today and I compared it with my uh, uh, Springfield XDM 9mm the difference in the two guns uh, basically the XDM is a 4.5 inch barrel and the uh, M&P is a true 5 inch barrel the uh, Springfield brags that their barrel is uh, match grade, um, which is supposed to improve the uh, accuracy. Uh, I took uh, two magazines with each. I have about between, uh, I'd say 250 to 300 rounds through the Springfield. Today, I put about 50 rounds through the M&P. Um, I must say I was a little disappointed. Uh, one thing, this gun, it comes with four of these uh, grip pads. And uh, well, before I went to the range, I took the one that I thought felt the best, which was uh, this one here. It's uh, a medium large size and it, uh, it has the uh, little thumb web part. Uh, the smaller grips do not uh, have that thumb web uh, extension uh, and I thought I liked that. Uh, after I w got out there I noticed uh, part of my accuracy problem is my fingers weren't going very far around the grip so uh, I got home and I put the true medium sized grip in there and well I should have just stuck with that. Um, I was shooting at about 25 uh, paces. I shot about a softball size pattern with uh, M&P. With my Springfield uh, it tightened up to about a four inch group. Uh, so I can't wait to get back out there and retry the M&P. Uh, now as far as the options go, the M&P has a uh, ambidextrous safety um, which is really cool. You know a lot of guns now like uh, are following the Glock and uh, have no safety. Uh, or the Springfield has the, the thumb web safety. It does still have the uh, the trigger uh, brake safety as well as all guns. <coughs> um, I'm a big safety fan. You know, anybody that carries a full-size gun concealed uh, behind their back. Uh, um, personally, I end up going in and out of the hospital a lot uh, for my job, and I have to unholster my gun uh, before I go into the hospital to, uh, you know, stay lawful. Uh, I always get a little nervous when I'm reholstering my firearm when it does not have a true safety just because I don't want it to get caught on a shirt tail or something like that and have an accidental discharge so I, I, I'm i one that does appreciate uh, a safety and this safety is so convenient you do not have to uh, really do anything but drop your thumb down to engage the firearm uh, to the fire position uh, so, you know, very, very nice feature. Uh, I also carry the m &P Shield in 45 that has that same texture on the grip that, that come out last year. Uh, I love this gun. I, you know, I shoot the same grip pattern uh, with this little 45 as I do that Springfield up there. But you know what they say, 45 is big, dumb, and slow. So am I, so we get along better. That's why I have it in my concealed carry. Uh, and uh, it also has the same safety up here just doesn't stick out quite as far anyway uh, back to the review of the M&P uh, the sights are large three dot sights these are the the factory sights that come on the gun uh, I like them today was a very bright sunny day so visibility on the sights was uh, uh, not a problem uh, fast draw acquisition uh, I had uh, four steel plates set up and uh, was easy to see them. The uh, Springfield, you know, it has the same three dot, but as you can see, they are a lot smaller. Um, 
I'll probably end up upgrading the sights on both of these firearms later on just because I love the uh, Tritium uh, TFO sights. I just haven't had the time to sit down and, and order the sights for uh, either gun. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, leave a comment if you want, and uh, I'll look forward to posting more videos in the future.